What is going on guys? It's Peekum from Fan97. Um I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the um the Ken Burns in iMovie. And a lot of you guys have been uh you know asking for um like a an idea for my next video, so I came across the um the Ken the Ken Burns. And the Ken Burns is uh, pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you wanna of course select your clip. And uh, once you've done that, you want to go to adjust. And uh, once you've done that, you want to go to right here where it looks like a crop button. You click on that, and then it's going to give you style. It gives you fit, crop, and Ken Burns. You want to click on the Ken Burns effect. As you can see this right here, it says start and end. So where you see start, that means that's where it's going to start. So the whole entire footage is going to be selected. And end, it's going to end to wherever you move this. You can reposition it to wherever you want. So I'm going to position it right here. You can also re or scale it. Uh, you can make it smaller or bigger. So you know, just keep in mind that this is where you want to start it. You can, of course, change it. You can make it smaller, and then you can move it. So you can go like this from like the top left, and then where it ends, you can move it down, kind of like this if you wanted to. And then, and then make sure you click the check button right there. So then, if I were to play it in the beginning by pressing F N and the back arrow, you press Enter or you press Space. It gives that little Ken Burns effect and also zooms in towards that video. Since this is a video, it's going to be a little harder. But if you have a photo, it's going to be much, much better. But it does uh, work. Um, let me show you a different way. Let me go ahead and make it fully uh, or bigger. And let's go ahead and check that. So if I were to play it from the beginning. You can see that it zooms in. And it, since the footage is moving downwards, um, it's going to look a little weird. It looks like there's two Ken Burns, but in reality, there's only one. So keep in mind when you're selecting uh, video clips that there isn't a lot of movement. Um, so if I were to import a photo, so if I go to, uh, let's see, pictures, or I have pictures selected. Um, let's go and select, uh, let's select this one just for sake being. If I were to put this in the bottom or in between the clip, um, if I were to select this and go into crop, Make sure that, you know, just click on this to get this feature, the advanced tools. Click on the crop and where it says start. If you want to make it bigger, you can. But you can tell that there is um, black bars. And that is because if you were to, um, it's a, it's a, the style is on fit. And you don't want that because the aspect ratio is a 1280 by 720. And this is a bigger picture. So I'm going to go to crop and I'm only going to crop this so keep in mind that the top and the bottom is going to be removed click check and there we go you don't have those black bars anymore and to continue go into the crops go into ken ken burns and let's go ahead and make this let's go to start or end let's go to just put it like that click check so if i were to play it you can see that now it's moving inwards you can of course change the positioning if you want and that's all you gotta do um so if this helped you um then don't forget to you know slightly you know, calmly leave a like and comment below for my next idea. And I'm going to try to keep uh, doing iMovie tutorials and I'm um, going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.